Jordan, Seamus, congratulations. Seamus, that must feel like such a hugely significant win on so many levels. Yeah, listen, like we talked about before the game, you know, the results yesterday pulled them away a little bit from us. And, you know, I'm sure not many give us a chance for today's game. But um, we believed and, uh, you know, I think players say it all the time, but the, the reception that we came into, we couldn't get too carried away with it before the game because we had the focus. But, you know, that, this football club means everything to them fans and we had to replicate that today. But our goal, like I said, against Man United, it's only three points and we're, we're still in a massive scrap. Jordan, I suppose my first question to you is, how's your face doing? Yeah, not too bad. I've had worse than that before. So, no, yeah, it's what I'm there for. It makes saves for the team and it's a team effort at the end of the day and it's all about getting three points for us as players, as a club and the fans, you know what I mean? It was a team performance, but that second 45, will that go down as perhaps your biggest second half of football in your club career? Is it up there? Yeah, I really enjoyed it, but that's what I'm there to do. Help the team, everyone helps each other. Um, but it's about enjoying that today, but not get too carried away. We've got to refocus for next week and um, we'll just keep fighting. The fans have played a massive part today, so it's about us going again. As a defensive unit, you must be delighted, but what do you make of his contribution today? Ah, listen, uh, to be honest, uh, that save that he's came back off the line and parried out is world class. And we see that from Jordan on a, on a daily basis in training. And um, there's a reason why he's England's number one as well. And I think we've seen that today because without Jordan, we wouldn't have won the game. And all credit to him, but we'll be focused, we'll go again. We don't get carried away with this result whatsoever, but some of the saves were, were world class. The breakthrough came at the other end of the pitch, Richarlison. Just how satisfying was that with the d discipline that you showed in that first half when Chelsea had so much of the ball? Yeah, exactly. Um, the manager spoke at half-time and he said to Richarlison, keep doing that work, working hard like you did. He said, your chance will come. And he's took the first minute after half-time. So that just shows working hard as a team, as an individual, you know, you, you'll get rewards. You've already touched on it already. Is there a feeling in this dressing room that what the fans have done today over the last 24 hours preparing for this game it has had a direct impact on this result? I'll be honest, um, I've been here I've been here a long time and uh, listen, I've never been in this situation before but I've also never kind of felt what I've felt coming into the stadium today. Um, the flares, the the genuine passion and, and the, the like grown men's face when they were singing Everton songs, you know, if that doesn't touch something with you as players, then you may as well hang up the boots. So we definitely got, you know, an extra few percent going into that game. And we done, to be honest, we've done that for them today because we know how, how they're hurting. But again, we've got to keep going and we've got to keep battling. All right. Well, thank you for talking to us. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks very much. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7am Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.